again, we have local rules for handheld entral equipment. So we can add in a new form here. Also, we have issue logs that can be used as for your risk assessment section. And these will enable you to keep a track of the change that have been made to local rules when they happened and when they will be reviewed again. And that will allow you to dispose of any old sets of local rules that you do not need to keep. For example, the local rules for fixed 2D we produced today. In a year's time, members of staff have changed and we have updated those. And then issue two of the local rules can be documented. The change is made, update of staff details, when that occurred and when the local rules will be reviewed again. Then the old set of local rules can be disposed of. There are local rules for fixed comb beam CT units. And again, we we'll talk you through the process, enter the details that are required, who can use the equipment, who the radiation protection supervisors are, what the description of controlled areas are, what your working instructions are, dose investigation level, contingency plans, what do you do if something goes wrong? Servicing, maintenance, repair, pregnant workers, duties of employers, employees. Instructions for another employer's employee working in an x-ray room. So the local rules, they are required under the ionizing radiations regulations. The remaining procedures on the left hand side relate to procedures, employers procedures required by IRMA. They start with dental exam referrals or dental examinations. And we have put together based on the guidance issued in 2020, a procedure for practices to follow. If any of these procedures that are going to be going through on the left hand side vary at your practice, you will need to put together your own procedure for this. As we believe the versions based on guidance are the most appropriate to be used. There is justification and authorization. Uh, authorization, the objective to ensure that every dental exposure is justified and authorized. In each case, we will have a an objective and the responsibilities. Patient identification to ensure that the right patient is in the chair to be exposed to x-rays. Adequate information of being provided to the person to be exposed about the risks and benefits from being exposed to radiation. Pregnancy inquiries. The, do you ask whether a person is pregnant or do you not ask because it's not relevant in dental radiography? Procedure is here and you can adapt that to your required needs. Patient dose assessment, how this is achieved. There is protocols for Interoral equipment. Can just add in a new form. Equally so for panoramic exposures or keflometric for comb beam CT. Diagnostic reference levels that are used at the practice and have been adopted can be documented here. Details of the national levels are also recorded within the file for individual radiographic projections. Clinical evaluation. All radiographic images should be clinically evaluated, of course. Incident reporting procedures. Reducing unintended exposures, how this is achieved. K 
carers and comforters. I do you allow carers and comforters to assist patients during exposures or not? Research, research exposures and non-medical imaging exposures using medical or radiological equipment. The likelihood is you don't get involved with that, but there are procedures that are there for you to document the fact that this is do not get involved. Asymptomatic individuals. Health screening programs, again, there is a procedure, but the likelihood is, the objective is that they're not currently undertaken at the practice, but you need to record that fact. There is an audit. Table that can be used, clicking the add button. Estimation, estimates of population dose. There are details there. Service level agreements, image referral forms, primarily if you're referring out of the practice or maybe taking referrals in as template documents that can be used to formalize that arrangement. Finally, any other procedures that you have in place within the practice, you can add those and make sure that those procedures are valid.